The Anaconda Player of the Week in men's basketball is Americans Charles Hinkle. The senior forward led the Red Hot Eagles to three more wins last week, running their streak to seven by averaging 22.3 points and 6.7 rebounds per game. He also averaged 1.3 assists per game and made 25 of 27 attempts at the free throw line. He had a big day on Sunday totaling a career-high 32 points on 10 of 16 shooting from the field and 5 of 9 from three-point range. He also was a perfect 7 for 7 at the free throw line in a 66-60 win over St. Joseph's. The Anaconda Rookie of the Week in men's basketball is Justin Burrell of Holy Cross. The freshman guard played a pair of strong games as the Crusaders went 1-1 one one last week. He played brilliantly in an 82-77 loss at Providence on Tuesday with a career-high 15 points as well as 6 assists in the game. Burrell totaled 13 points and dished out a pair of assists in Saturday's 62-57 win over New Hampshire. Here's how the standings look on December 6th as the Eagles have won 7 straight to sit at 7-2. Lehigh had won 6 straight prior to an overtime loss at Cornell on Sunday that dropped them to 6-3 behind American. Bucknell, despite falling to LaSalle over the weekend, owns the league's other winning record at 5-4. The Anaconda Player of the Week in women's basketball is Jen Hazlitt of Army. The sophomore forward averaged 15.5 points and 9 rebounds in a pair of contests last week for the Black Knights. Perhaps the most impressive feat was that she recorded all of her points in the second half of each of the games. She posted the first double-double of her career with 19 points and 12 rebounds in Thursday's 55-51 win over Hawaii, and she reached double figures again on Saturday with 12 points and 6 boards and a 68-64 loss at Loyola of Maryland. The Anaconda Rookie of the Week in women's basketball is Emily Homan of Lafayette. The freshman forward matched a career high with 13 points in a 49-39 loss at Penn last week, and then she added 4 points and 6 rebounds in Saturday's 48-43 win over Manhattan at home. Homan finished the week averaging 8.5 points and 4.5 rebounds per game. American, Army, and Navy each own winning records in women's basketball as the non-conference slate continues on. Army lost on Saturday 68-64 at Loyola of Maryland, but still owns the league's best record at 6-3. Americans close behind at 5-4, and, and Navy picked up a 73-56 win over Maine on Saturday to move to 4-3. Arvin gets her own rebound, though. Bauer wide open, 3, got it! Right block. Cuts inside on the left, leaves it for Arvin, top of the key, three, got it! Membrano, driving right of the key, takes it up and in, and nice finish by Membrano. Hung a little bit in the air there. Now, Bauer down low, right block, open three, Pollinger, top of the key, got it! Five of eight for Navy behind the three-point line, and the mids will win three in a row. 73-56. Akara uh, had another big game for you guys scoring-wise. Uh, you know, she came on at the end of last season, got more and more playing time as the season progressed. What has been the difference this year for her scoring-wise? And uh, she's really stepped up the last four games for you guys. Yeah, I mean, well, the kid can shoot. You know, I remember when I went and watched her, when I recruited her in West Virginia. She is from a tiny town in West Virginia. And, you know, the level of basketball... Um, is not as good as it is in some cities, and if you will, but all those kids could shoot. There was something about small town West Virginia that they knew how to shoot. So honestly, I mean, since the day she's gotten here, she's shot the ball well, you know? So how is she getting more shots? I think Alex collapses the D, Jade collapses the D. Um, you know, Alex's five assists tonight were huge. So if we could just keep getting that D collapse and have shooters spotting up, I think it's gonna be great for Kara. Paulinger finished with 24 points, hitting five three-pointers in the 73-56 win over Maine, which was the mid's third straight win on the season. Shai Arvin and Audrey Bauer also finished in double digits. For this week's Patriot League Roundup, I'm Jimmy Johnson.